Hi everyone, we are going to change it from clunky to smooth using easing in Premiere Pro. Look, clunky, smoother. Ready? Clunky animation, nice, graceful, smooth animation. That is easing or temporal interpolation in Premiere Pro. If you're sitting there thinking, they look the same, Dan. They look similar. But have one more look, look. Clunky, not clunky. Oh, smooth. All right, whether you're convinced or not, let's jump in anyway and work out what easing is. All right, first up, we need to find some keyframes to add some easing to. Okay, I've got some keyframes applied to my little lower thirds here where they slide in. We'll do the text first and the box second. Okay, so with it selected up here in my effects controls, we need to find the keyframes, not these ones. Okay, because that's for my background box. We'll do him in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna close it down. Remember, little circles mean somewhere inside of here, buried deep, okay, is a couple of diamonds. And that's what we're looking for. So inside text, down at position, couple of diamonds. Now, which uh, we'll do the first one. Okay, so we'll get this first one done. You don't actually have to have your CTI there. You just have to click on it, make it go blue, and then right click it. It's teeny tiny, I'm aware. Okay, right click it. Okay, and you're looking for this one called terpal, uh, temporal interpolation, which is a super nerdy way of saying easing, which is uh, a slightly less nerdy way of saying sliding in nicely. Okay, so we want this one. Then you're going to play the fun game of is it ease in or is it ease out? You'll get it wrong half the time. After about six months of playing around with this, you'll be pretty confident with it. It is, you're like, which one is it? There's a lot of try it and undo. Try the other one. Now, I know that this one here is going to be easing out of this keyframe, okay? We can't ease into it because there's no side of that. and Nothing's happening there. So it's easing out of this keyframe. So I'm going to right click it. I'm going to go temple interpolation. I'm going to ease out of it. Okay. And it changes to like a little diamond. You can't, oh, sorry, hourglass. You can't really see half of it. There it is there. I'm going to undo that. So that gives you a kind of a visual indicator that you've done some easing or temporal interpolation. Why do I call it easing and nobody else does? It's just because it's very common in lots of other programs and they call it easing. So I still do too. And if you Google like how to do easing, you'll end up here with temporal interpolation. Nobody calls it that. Just Premiere Pro. All right, so let's have a look at what it's doing. Let's get our playhead back to the beginning and watch this over here, spacebar. Nothing really happened, okay, because it's happening, uh, it's going slowly, okay, as it's coming up the screen, you can't really see it. The one that'll be a bit more obvious is the second one here. So just click on it. You don't have to have your CTI on it. Right click it. Now in this case, is it ease in or ease out? Easing out is this side, easing out of it. Nothing's happening there. We want this side of it because there's lots of action on this side, okay? If there's action on both sides, you'll have to do it twice. You'll go U, ease in, and then add ease out. So we're gonna ease into this one. Let's have a little look. Spacebar, can you see it just comes in with a little bit more grace? Okay, it's called easing. It's hard because the big colored box storms its way in. So let's fix that one with some easing. Same sort of thing, we need to close all this down, find our shape layer, find our diamonds, and this first one here, okay, we're going to right click it and you're going to go, oh, brain melt. Which one is it? Okay, it's ease out because it's there's nothing happening over here. There's nothing to ease in for. Okay, but easing out of this keyframe, it's doing lots. Okay, right click, temple interpolation. We're going to get this to ease out. And if you get it wrong, just add ease in as well. It's not gonna, <laughs> it's going to do the exact same job because there's nothing happening on the other side. It doesn't really matter. So if you like just clicking it and going don't care just do it twice because you don't want to learn okay that'll work too but just do it officially just to get us going so this one here is uh, temple interpolation this is easing out of that keyframe and then into this one here we go now hopefully have a look you see it's just got a bit more i like the word grace okay it comes in with a little bit more uh, pizzazz that's a terrible word but you get the idea, right? It's just not as clunky. Now, often when you get to here, you can play around with the timing, okay? And the timing is just how far apart these are. So you might decide to go in faster. Let's see what happens, watch. Move it back, spacebar. Move it out. Okay, so once you play around with the easing, your timing will be off, okay? They'll get to they'll get to the right point and end at the right point, but their, their timing in between it is a lot different. Okay, there's a bit of graduation going in Basically, think of it as the, it gets kind of like a bit of slowness. I always think of it as putting glue on it. Okay, so it's going really fast in the middle, but it gets a bit gluey here. OK, 
Okay, and it gets a bit gluey leaving. So it takes a little while, gets some inertia, and then gets all slowed down. All right, that is easing, my friends, or temporal interpolation, or giving your motion graphics some grace. And that's it. Like, we, like we're not going to do a huge amount of motion graphics in this class. We're going to do a bit, but that is the term that they are using. We've got graphics. They are in motion. It's pretty simple, but you can now put your hand up and say, yep, nailed some motion graphics. All right, enough easing. I will see you in the very next video. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel here. And also, if you want to go a bit further with Premiere Pro, consider checking out my Premiere Pro Essentials course. There is a link in the description. Bye now.